Your dirty ponicas, just a quick short video just to show you my uh, acquisition of today a uh, 250 gallon koi tank, well, holding tank, whatever you want to call it. Got it for uh, quite a steal to be honest, 100, 100 pounds. So, built in filter at the back, just need to do some work. Got pump with it, all the filter media, UV. So, Look forward to a video of me redoing the pipe work and putting this into its place. Ready before the Declan Koi show next weekend. So I can get some fish ready for the tank house when that's done. But thanks for watching. Well, it's in place and filling up. Uh, got a major issue with the pump, mind you. So, got to go and find some rubber seals and that for that. Welcome back. Here we go. All set up, filled with water. Got a couple of little leaks that I need to sort out once I drain this out with all the PP in it. But everything's running, pump's running, UV's running. Uh, I've got the air pump down there at the moment. Just pumping in 100 litres a minute. Welcome back, guys. As you can see, it's now in its almost final state. I still need to get insulation and some sort of covers going on the top, but I'll do that in a, a part two holding tank video. But everything is running. Um, I moved, changed over to some bigger air stones that I bought from the show, uh, the, all, the, the All England Koi Show at the weekend. So I've now got these uh, much larger air stones. I've got one in the corner of the, the main tank and obviously made a fluidized bed help with the bacteria as you can see got a nice if you can tell a, a nice flow coming in I actually managed to get a uh, 4000 very flow pump um, had a few issues getting rubber uh, washers and fittings for it but it's all now working got a couple of drips still but uh, one drip there but that jug's been there for I don't know three four days now so we're all good. Still got a little bit of drip coming out of the valve because that valve needs uh, actual new washers, which I didn't realise before I filled it up. I should have really uh, taken it apart and done all that before, but it's only a drip every now and again, so it's not major. Air pump still sat there, a couple of new lines. UV, UV's not on at the moment. Don't see a reason to have it on, even though it is sat almost directly in the sunlight, but it does fall pretty much behind the trees up there now but we've got a nice flow nice little moving bed which I do need to get something to go across here so I can keep the, the media here and the air out of the, the downpipe to the to the pump I'm running the pump at what we're we running at 30% feed rate so this is only a, a Jacob DCP 4000 um, as you can see I've got very speed for my air pump uh, since that's a hundred litre minute air pump I needed to bring it down so it's running probably I don't know it's probably about a third of what it can I'll shut that in a minute uh, tank's currently holding 16.3 uh, we had a cold night last night so the heat is struggling to get it back up to temperature uh, it was sitting at 19 when I first got it and as you can see through the bubbles we have four fish so if you saw the previous video on Tuesday you would have seen the children choose them and bring them home and put them in they were, seem to be feeding well and such got a nice got a little feeding ring that I um, grabbed from Seba's Pond as I'm looking after his uh, filter and fish at the moment while he's on holiday but yeah full fish in there so that's it that's really part one of the holding tank um, next part will be really getting some insulation for it and working out some sort of a I don't know perspex or corrugated something to go on top to be able to put underneath the the cover so it can all come off in one and I can take it off next year and just have the mesh again when it warms up but the fish seem okay, they do seem to sit at the bottom quite often until they come up for food, but 
And I, please uh, do YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.